Hello, my name is Nate. Welcome to my art channel. I'm going to do a little experiment tonight. I've been very intrigued by watching um, Amanda from Amanda's Designs channel. Um, she's been doing quite a few very fluid paintings uh, using fluid acrylics and spray paint. And she does these amazing abstract designs where she Pour some color on the canvas, moves it around a little bit, spray some paint, spray paint, and then tilts it out. Um, and they're beautiful. And it almost looks like she's added, when it, she's finished, it almost looks like she's added gold leafing, but it's in a very organic way. And I think you, uh, a way you wouldn't be able to do by actually using gold leafing. So I'm really intrigued by this. And I wondered what would happen if I used my spinner to move the paint. So I've got my 24 by 24 inch canvas here on my spinner, and I'm going to put down a base coat of, this is a custom purple, it's a mix of Amsterdam Ultramarine Violet, and the last bit of uh, dioxazine purple in Golden's Fluid Acrylics, just to uh, deepen the tone a little bit. So this will be my base coat color. I think uh, purple and gold always go really well together. And then I also have, um, in my squeeze bottles here, I have some titanium white, and I have some permanent violet dark, uh, which is, so this is kind of more of a blue violet, and this is a red violet. So I know these two colors, since these paints are very, very fluid, um, I know that these colors are going to play very well together. And let me just show you, I have mixed this paint so that it is uh, as fluid as I can get it without breaking the binder. So it leaves absolutely no trace. In fact, it indents a little bit when it drizzles off of the stir stick. And all of my paints are that consistency. And I do have some of that custom mix in my squeeze bottle also. I'm gonna use the squeeze bottle rather than uh, pouring it from a cup because I want to try Oh, I know it's not gonna work, but I'm going to try and keep this design centered uh, so that when I spin it out, it spreads out evenly. It will probably drift a little bit. So to try and counteract that, I'm gonna be pouring from these little squeeze bottles straight down, and hopefully uh, that will keep the design in the center. And to avoid a little bit of drift, I'm also gonna turn my canvas a quarter turn every time I add more paint. and. That way, if my table isn't completely level, um, then hopefully that will help counteract the drift. But we shall see. If it's a little off-center, it'll just it's abstract, so that's okay. Um, but I'm going to make the attempt. Um, so I'm going to put down this base coat first, and then I'm going to and I'm going to blow it out with the, the hair dryer just so I have a wet surface, and then I'm going to start puddling my colors in the center and uh, not on the white, but on the, per the um, blue violet and on the red violet, I'm gonna spray a little bit of the spray paint right on top of it and then keep adding. So hopefully the, the gold kind of spreads out along with the other colors. So that's the idea. Let's hope I can um, accomplish it. If not, I'm gonna learn something new and hopefully you will learn along with me. So I'm gonna put on some music for you while I get started and let's play. I've been going crazy, I don't know what to do My heart is screaming for you, babe And what I'm trying to say is that you make the sky look blue Even when it is gray, babe Every time I'm feeling down, you can make it go away Your light is shining bright on me Got no reason to be afraid Glowing in the dark, glowing in the dark I feel it in my heart You're glowing in the dark, glowing in the dark Yeah, you're glowing in the dark Looking at ya, you, you're like a firefly. Guide me out of the woods now. Oh, I think I like. 
lost my way, but got you to help me back. Tell me what I should do now. Every time I'm feeling down, you can make it go away. Your light is shining bright on me. Got no reason to be afraid. You're glowing in the dark. You're glowing in the dark. Glowing in the dark, I feel it in my heart. You're glowing in the dark, glowing in the dark, yeah, you're glowing in the dark. You're growing in the
Okay, y'all, you know how sometimes you have an idea and you have no idea how it's gonna turn out and it actually comes out better than you were expecting? I'm having that moment right now. These colors are amazing together, number one, and this gold spray paint turned into lacing. Look at that. Oh my God, that is so freaking cool. I'm so excited about the possibilities about with this. Look at that. Look at that section right there. Oh my God, look at that. <laughs> okay, I need to stop saying that, but, but really look at that. That is so cool. <laughs> look at that section right there. Oh, I love that I used the white in there for some contrast between those two dark colors. And both of these colors are gonna dry darker than they appear right now. But with that white in there, instead of three colors, you end up with, look at that, you end up with six colors because the blue and the violet make a color together. And then, I'm sorry, the, pur the, the purple and the violet make a color together. The white makes a, a, a pink with the red and a, a, a lavender with the purple. Oh my God, I cannot stop looking at this. That center is so cool. Um, oh my God, look at that. That's like dendrites or something. That is amazing. And I did have to tilt a little bit to get that design back in the center. These paints are so fluid. I could have used uh, maybe one or two more layers. Um, it would have spun out a little better, but oh my God, I'm super, super happy with this. I'm definitely going to do this again. Um, oh, what color should I do? Maybe greens and blues with the gold? Oh, that'd be really cool. Okay, I, I predict you're gonna see a few more of these. <laughs> um, I'm filming this on Saturday and I'm posting it on Sunday, so I'm not gonna have dry results, but I promise in my video on Wednesday, I will show you the dry results because I'm super excited about this and I'll probably be doing another one for Wednesday's pour. <laughs> anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope you are inspired to try something new and I hope you learned something just like I did and um, go out there and mix up some paints and be fearless.